the genetics does play a role in the way you age, but it's a small role. In fact, 70% or more of the way you're aging is actually due to your lifestyle. Let's just imagine two 70-ish year old men, okay, John and Rob. And John, you know, he's razor sharp. He can carry groceries to his car. He doesn't get out of breath. You know, I mean, he is, he's feeling healthy. He is able to, he can walk efficiently, right? And then there's Rob. And Rob is forgetting his words. You know, he's not cognitively sharp. He's out of breath just from walking to his car. He has a really hard time carrying groceries. Genetics only plays a, a small role in, in th those two different outcomes for those two men. The biggest, I would say, thing that's dictating the way these two men age is their lifestyle with a huge part of that actually being exercise. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know we've all heard it from our mother or grandmother, great-grandmother, you know, exercise is, is good for you. If you eat healthy and you exercise, you're going to you're gonna be healthier. And that's like a general statement. But the reality is it is so true that exercise affects everything, you know, down to the molecular level in terms of like the way you're aging. So um, no, it's not just di dictated by genetics and it's not inevitable. And there are things that you can do to dramatically age better.